Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I always said it's a beautiful day because nothing is permanent. What I mean is that if you have problem, that's not permanent. When there is a problem, there are solutions actually to the problem. When we started this farm, we had a problem about the predators. the lizards, and even the snakes. But I'm so happy that we were able to provide solution, and that is by raising native dogs here in the farm. I have native dogs at the house, but I really wanted to have dogs here in the farm. And you look at Bonnie and Clyde, they are already big, and they're helping us driving away the predators during the night. For today's video, we're gonna celebrate new life in the farm. What I mean is that we have had dozens of ducklings already. And these ducklings are additional to the population of our ducks here, the Muscovy ducks in the farm. Well, as you know, we have started only with a few pair of ducks. One drake against five hen. But now we are able to produce more than a hundred of these ducks. And some of my friends have already, you know, tasted the meat of these ducks. I sold some of them. And it is very easy compared to the chickens because these ducklings doesn't require intensive care during the first few days from hatch. They can just be, you know, allowed to roam around, but of course be safeguarded against the predators because there are lizards. But they are not that susceptible to disease. I don't have in mind any virus that's common to the ducks but for the chickens we have so many that's why we have to vaccinate them but for the ducks there is no known diseases for the ducks so long as they can eat and you will provide good environment they will really survive and come on let's go to the duck's nest and we will have a glance of what is actually happening there come on let's go It's nine o'clock here. I can see from outside the nest, there's uh, empty shells of the eggs. You see that? These are the shells of the ducklings that we're gonna see today. I'm so excited because I was just told that the eggs were already hatched. You see, what is going on here is quite exciting you see that oh the mama is too jealous okay so i have here one two three four and you can see how many are hot so far we have how many ah, sorry to disturb one, two, three, four, five, six. And this one here that's about to be hatch. Oh, I will help you out. I will help you out from here. See that beak? The beak is coming out. And when they grow big inside the egg, this beak will push the shell that it will crack and when they gonna move of course the they will be able to break the shell and then come out you see that we will not force this one How would you know that your duckling is healthy? Well, you would know if they're gonna be able to break the shell of the eggs. Because some of these ducks, if they are weak, they cannot go out from the shell. But so far, so good because our experience here 
is that we hatched 90% of the total eggs that had been incubated. And actually we have 16 eggs right here and we expect to hatch around 14 or 13. And that's gonna be new additional babies of ducks that gonna be enjoyed by our visitors here in the farm. As we desire to expand the dry land, we are also trying our best to make some plans here for the cottages. If we're gonna be able to extend maybe around five meters from here where I stand, from this point to that, then that would be a big area for our cottages. So these are my plans. And I hope that this is gonna be materialized. Well, of course, in life, we cannot do all at once, meaning we have to undergo some processes, some patience, of course, because it requires a little more time for us to be able to accomplish everything. Some of us can do this at once because they have the budget, but in my case, I'm doing this little by little and be excited to share with you about the little progress which are happening constantly, day by day. Well, this is the barn that we intended for our chickens. But since we already have made a big coop right there, we might as well dismantle this because this is only an eyesore of the view towards the boat. If we will stand over there outside, this will cover everything. So I'm going to dismantle this and recycle the GI sheets so that we can still use this at the sidings of our boathouse and one of the major accomplishments that we desire is to finish this boathouse in the month of october and then we will start the business of offering coffee and some food we will start it in a way that it's within our capacity to do it so we will think big but doing it little by little it's a boat isn't it and if you will go there, you will really have that feel that you are inside the boat because of the water. And you will feel the fresh air, the breeze of the air, and the calmness and the coolness of the environment. It's windy here, actually. And I'm so happy that we were able to develop this one. Of course, you know that when we started this plan, we started from scratch, literally. We started from zero. And little by little, with the great hope and faith that we have in our heart, we were able to have these things. And these are actually a milestone for me. If you will look at this point, you will also see a different angle of the boat. And you will see the post right under, that's very close. That's why I'm so confident that this will stand even with the strongest typhoon that may come. I just hope so. And one of you were very concerned about this. Well, we don't know, but we're trying our best to improve and you can make some suggestions. I, I really appreciate that. And you guys, if not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit the notification bell because we are uploading very challenging and informative videos. And if you will subscribe, of course, you will be notified of our future uploads only here at Dexter's World. See you in my next video.